So in our last video, we have seen how to deploy any kind of OpenAI model on Azure and how to integrate it with that model to write a simple application. So in that application, we were basically using the key to access the model, but in real world scenario, that is not an ideal approach. So in this video, we are going to see how to improve it and how to write a code to access Azure OpenAI models using Microsoft IntraID. And using this Microsoft IntraID, we are going to generate a token to access the Azure OpenAI models. So let's go to our Azure portal first. Prerequisites should be, you need to have Azure OpenAI service created under Azure AI services. And then you need to have a model deployed that you can check it on Azure AI Studio. If you don't know how to do this, you can refer our last video. I will put a link in the description. So in this case, you can see we do have our model deploy. We do have the deployment team and then we do have the model name. And same thing, actually, we have to just add it in our code. So in this case, we do have this GPT-4 O mini model deployed as a deployment name and then we do have the endpoint again this endpoint we can just take it from here you can go to key and endpoint under azure opinion and you are going to have this endpoint over here you can also see in this particular code we don't have any variable to hold the key because we do not want to access the model via key anyways the keys are going to be available over here to access these models now once you have all these things you know set up from the model access point of view the next thing what we have to do is create our android for that, we are going to go to our home screen and then we can search for Microsoft IntraID. I can see it over here. So I will just click on this. And once I click on this, then I have to do a new app registration. I will just click on app registration. I need to just provide some name over here. So I will just give service principal demo 3006. I will go ahead and register it. As soon as I register it, it's going to give me the client ID and the tenant ID. So I can just take a client ID from here and then just put it in into this one then i need to take a tenant id tenant id i can see over here so i can take it from here again then put it over here and the last thing is the client secret so for that i have to go over here and have to create a client secret i have to click on new client secret and click on add and it's going to give me the client secret i need to take this particular value from here now the secret id so i'm just going to take it and i'm just going to paste it over here now once you have the microsoft intra id created and as we have seen in our azure playlist series also if you want to access any kind of services via microsoft intra id then you need to provide the access to that particular service so here actually we want to access azure open ai via microsoft intra id so in this case we are again going to go to azure open ai and here we can see the iam so we are just going to click on iam here we can see grant access to this particular resource so I'm just going to click on add role assignment. You can see there are a lot of roles around this particular service. We are working on the OpenAI service. So I will probably just look at a role. What do we have for OpenAI? So there are two basically cognitive services, OpenAI contributor and cognitive service OpenAI user. So I will just go ahead and create OpenAI contributor. I will just provide this particular service so that, you know, we can generate text and all those things as well. I will just click on next. And here we have to select a member on which we have to provide this particular access. I will select member and I will just search for my service principal which we have created. This is going to be SP demo 3006. I'm just going to select it, preview assign, and I'm just going to click on this. Now the role is getting added. I can check it by clicking on this check access. Here I can just search for SP demo and I can see under role assignment, I do have this cognitive service OpenAI contributor. So now everything has been set up from the access point of view. We have set up our Microsoft Intra ID. We have set up things from accessing model perspective. So now I will quickly go over the code. And the first thing what you would notice over here is from the Azure identity, we are importing default Azure credentials and get bearer token provider. This is something which we were not doing it in our last video because we were accessing the model via key. And here we are trying to access the model via token. In Azure identity, there is a specific method to generate a token and you can find the details of it. You can see there is a sample code also written over here, how we can use it. This particular method is going to give us a token and then we can utilize that token to access the models. We are just going to use the same. You can either pass the default Azure credentials over here or you can use the client secret credentials. In this case, I'm going to use the default Azure credentials and it will automatically fetch the values which is required for the connection from our environment file because we have already declared all the required things over here. So the first change is going to be this one where we have to generate a token and that we can store it into this particular variable. After that, rest of the steps are going to be same where we have to fetch the API version, endpoint and the deployment team. Only one change over here 
is we are not defining the API key. So we don't have to retrieve it also. And after that, we are just initializing our client using the Azure OpenAI. One particular changes that we have to do over here is Azure AD token provider. We are utilizing it. And under this, actually, we are passing our token, which we have been generating earlier. So if you go to Azure OpenAI, there are, you know, multiple options to initialize a client. Earlier, we were directly using the API key. But now actually we are using this Azure AD token provider instead of using this API key. So under this Azure AD token provider, we can directly pass the token provider. Earlier also we are passing the API version that we have to still pass it over here and the endpoint. And after that, to write our very basic application, we are just invoking this client chat completion to create. And under this, we have to pass our deployment name, which we were passing earlier also. So there is no difference in this particular section of the code. We are defining our model and then passing message as a user user role and then asking to just write a story in 20 words. So if your entry ID setup has been created, so if my entry ID has been set up correctly, the rules and everything has been defined clearly, then I should be able to get a response from this particular model. So let me just go ahead and try to run this code and you can see I am able to get a response in this case also. So this is the recommend way. Like if you are writing any production grade application, then you do not want to expose your API key and just put it directly into the code. This is the way we should be accessing our model by using the entry ID and then generating a token using this entry ID and the cognitive services. This will keep your API key secure. Uh, that's all what we have in this video. Thank you for watching.